DreAllDay.com. What's going on, everybody? Dre Baldwin, DreAllDay.com. This week's motivation is about headaches. And if you listen to the Work On Your Game podcast, you may have heard me talk about this already, but I'm going to talk about it again here for the weekly motivation audience. And if you heard it before, listen to it again, because this is a very good analogy. Michael Jordan. All y'all know who Michael Jordan is. Many of you probably didn't even see Michael Jordan play, but you buy sneakers, but that's not the point. In 1986, 19, was 19, yeah, 1986, Michael Jordan came into the NBA in 84. He was rookie of the year. He averaged 28 points per game, rookie of the year in the NBA. Everybody's like, this guy's going to be a star. The first pair of Jordans came out, and y'all know the rest with the sneakers. 1985, 86 was his second season in the league. And what a lot of people don't remember is that Michael Jordan broke his foot that year. His second year in the NBA, he broke his foot. He didn't play most of the games for the Chicago Bulls that year. I think he played maybe about 20-some games he played that year. Broke his foot 20 games into the season. He sat out most of the season. There was a few games left in the regular season. And Michael Jordan had went to the doctors, and the doctor said, your foot is about, you're about 90% back to original strength, 90% chance that this will stay healthy. You know, you might be able to come back, but it's not our call, the doctors told Michael Jordan. They said, you know, we got to tell the owners, we got to tell the management of the Chicago Bulls, and that's between you and the Chicago Bulls. We're not making the decision, we just give them the information. So Michael Jordan goes into a meeting with the owner of the Chicago Bulls, Jerry Reinsdorf, the general manager called Jerry Krause. Michael has his agent, David Falk, with him. They're sitting in the room and they're trying to decide, well, the management's trying to persuade Michael of one thing, Mike's trying to persuade them of another. Michael Jordan wanted to play. Michael Jordan said, look, there's a 90% chance that this foot's not gonna break again. We got a few games left in the regular season. We're around the eighth seed in the Eastern Conference. I think we can make the playoffs. I wanna help my team. And overall, look, y'all signed me to a contract to play basketball. Why would y'all not want me to play basketball? And the Jerry's, they were both named Jerry. They called them, the, people called them the Jerry's. They say back to Michael, like, listen, Michael, we made a huge investment in you. Yes, we want you to play basketball, but we made an investment in you. We're looking at this for the long term. It's only your second year in the NBA. Listen, we're not about to compete for a championship this year. Even if we make the playoffs, we're not going to win the championship. We're not that much of a contender. So all we would do is get in the playoffs. We don't think we're going to go that far. And we'd rather have you for the next 10 years than just have you for the next you know, 10 weeks just to play in these last couple of games just because you want to compete and your pride and all that stuff. And Michael Jordan said, well, listen, man, it's a 90% chance. I want to play. They said, no, we don't want you to play. Mike said, I want to play. They said, we don't want you to play. So finally, Jerry Krause, the general manager of the Chicago Bulls, says across the table to Michael Jordan, listen, what if you had a headache, Michael, and I gave you a container of Advil, you know, the little medicine containers that people take, and I told you that there are 10 capsules of Advil in this container that can help cure your headache, but... One of them might be coated with cyanide. And for those of you who don't know what cyanide is, basically it's a poisonous, poisonous substance that if a pill is coated with cyanide and you ingest it, you're gonna die. So Jerry said, if I gave you a pill, I gave you a container with 10 pills, and I told you one of them has cyanide in it, to cure your headache, would you take the chance of taking one of those pills? And Mike, because he was basically making the analogy that it's a 10% chance you might break your foot again. So they were looking at the 10%. Mike was looking at the 90% chance of it not breaking. They were looking at the 10 that it could. And Michael Jordan said he thought about it for a minute. This is in one of Mike's books. He said, I thought about it for a minute. And I said, you know what, Jerry? That's a hell of an analogy. And here's my answer. Depends on how bad the headache is. But what does that have to do with all of you? In life, there are going to come times where almost everything you do, I actually tweeted about this probably last week or a week before is that every opportunity carries risk. All of you have to understand that. Life carries with, the, with it the possibility of death. Winning carries with it the possibility of losing. And every opportunity carries with it the risk, the downside of what might happen if you don't get the full opportunity. Understand that each one of those things, life, winning, success, opportunity, are only as valuable as they are weighed up against the possibilities of you losing. See, winning doesn't feel that good if there's no real possibility of losing. See, the higher that you gotta go to win, the more people you gotta defeat to win, the more the win is worth it, right? Because you had to defeat all of these people. If you ain't gotta really put up much of, a, much of a fight to get a win, or much of a fight to get a success, or much of a fight to live a great life, you don't really value it because you didn't have to fight too hard against it. See, there are gonna be times in life when you have an opportunity, there's something you can do. There's some way that you can win in life, and you're gonna have a possibility of risk, you're gonna have a possibility of, of winning. And what happens a lot of times in life is that people look at that 10%, like the Bulls general management staff and their ownership, they were looking at the 10% chance of failure of Michael Jordan breaking his foot again instead of looking at the 90%. But this is not, the, this is not about the management. This is about Michael Jordan. You got to understand Michael Jordan's mentality. 
Michael Jordan's mentality was, listen, it depends on how bad. If the headache is bad enough, if I want something bad enough, if I need to get something done bad enough, my sense of urgency is high enough, listen, I don't care if it's a 90% chance that one of those pills is coated with cyanide and I got to get lucky and guess the one that's not, if my headache is bad enough, listen, give me the damn Advil. I'm taking one. I'd rather kill myself trying to fix this problem than live the rest of my life having this problem. See, this is a question that you got to ask yourself. What areas of your life, what times in your life, what situations could you come to where you can say, listen, the headache is so bad, I'm going to do something here. I don't care if there's a downside that I might lose. I don't care if it's a 50-50 situation. I don't care if it's 10% failure, 90% success. I don't care if it's 90% failure, 10% success. I am so done with this situation being what it is right now that I'm going to take that risk and we're just going to figure it out on the way. See, that's what Michael Jordan said. Michael Jordan could have just said, look, I'll sit out and wait till next year when the season starts and there'll be a, there's never a 100% chance of a foot not breaking. That doesn't even make sense. But he could have just said that. I'll just sit out. We're not going nowhere. For those of you who don't know the story, that story of Michael Jordan, he ended up playing, of course. He got his way. He played in the Bulls, did make the playoffs as the eighth seed. They played the Boston Celtics in the first round. That was the same year Michael Jordan scored 63 points in a game. So for those of you who are want to know basketball history, that year when he argued his way into playing the last few games of the season after breaking his foot, he did play. They went to the playoffs. They got swept by the Boston Celtics, but Michael Jordan scored 63 points in that game, and that was one of the first games where everybody said, wow, like this Jordan dude, we knew he was good, but we didn't know it was like that. And they actually lost that game, but that 63 points is what everybody remembers. People don't even remember the fact that the Celtics swept them in that series. And the Celtics won the championship, but he scored 63 on them. But anyway, the point of it is this. The point of the whole story is this. You got to ask yourself how bad the headache is. How bad is the headache? How bad do I need to get this done? How bad do I need to be successful in this? How important is it that I get this done today? Because if the headache's bad enough, you're not looking at the risk. You're not looking at the downside. You're not looking at the 10% like the management is. You're looking at, from Michael Jordan's perspective, like, listen, I don't care if there's a 99% chance I get hurt again. I got to play me some basketball. I'd rather get hurt playing basketball than be healthy not playing basketball. So you got to ask yourself how bad is your headache for whatever it is you're going on going after in life today it might be more than one thing but you got to ask yourself how bad is the headache and what has to happen for you to reach for that ad bill work on your game dreallday.com what could you not do with more confidence less attention to the negativity of other people more focus on your goals and nothing else and not letting unfortunate circumstances slow you down would all of those help you out well, go to dreallday.com slash bulletproof. Check out my new eight-week course called Bulletproof Mindset. Get started, and I'll see you over there. Work on you. If you're on Snapchat, hit me on the snap. My snap name is at Dre Baldwin. You already know how that works. And I got a podcast, if you didn't know. It is called Work On Your Game. It is an everyday podcast where I talk about getting yourself into the right mindset, that bulletproof mindset, getting yourself seen, heard, known, getting the exposure you want, and making things happen in your life instead of waiting for things to happen to or for you. Subscribe to that podcast. We're on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. Make sure you check it every single day. Make sure you're subscribed so you catch the heat. Work on your game.